For the record, this video is not about Zach George. What's up guys? It's Donna with Zach Liaison where I coach you on how to enhance your dog's mental health. I wanted to just kind of decompress for a second and get a little organic, a little raw with you guys. Um, the hysteria of the last week has been a mix of emotions, um, mostly good, and I'm grateful that you guys are here. A week ago today, I had 25 subscribers and nobody knew who I was, and most of those subscribers were current clients or family and friends, and so now there's a bunch of people who I don't know who are, are trusting in me, and um, I want you to know that I take that very seriously um, and I appreciate you putting that trust into me when you hit that subscribe button. I know the significance of it at this stage anyway. I want you guys to know that my motivation is always to educate first. Um, I know that the reaction videos were uh, a mix of inform information and passion and I won't apologize for being passionate in those videos, but the real mission of this channel and the real mission of me is to educate and to inform and to give you guys access to information that you don't already have. Because I think that it is criminal that you don't have access to the information that I have in my mind. <laughs> um, I know that I have paid a lot of money for the information in my mind and that there are a lot of trainers who have also paid a lot of information for the stuff that I'm going to share you, to you. Um, they have paid a lot of money for it and it's a testament to how important it was to them to get that information. And now here I am, I wanted to share it to you, with you for free. Um, and that's my mission with this channel, is to share free information with you that I have spent literally $10,000 for. The reason I have that mission is because I want to raise the standard of what you can expect from a dog trainer. Um, I want you guys to know that you deserve more from your dog trainer. You deserve better from your dog trainer. You deserve a dog trainer who knows these things particularly if you have a dog who is reactive, anxious, fearful, is displaying aggressive behavior. You deserve to have a trainer who knows this level of expertise and unfortunately you haven't had easy access to those trainers yet. The mainstream trainers, on whether positive or not, I mean I'm not even just talking about just positive training, but the trainers that are abundant and are popular are not um, either aren't educated or maybe they are educated but they're not freely giving that information out they're not readily providing it um, and either way it's it's bad and so really my goal when I give these videos um, yes I'm a nerd and yes I like to give you guys science and who knows if you guys even are interested in the science part of it. I hope that you are. Um, but the, the goal is to really just let you guys know that that information is possible, that that information is accessible, and that you can demand that your trainer knows it. Um, you know, I'm gonna get kind of serious with you guys. I'm a college dropout. Um, and the reason that I left school was because I didn't feel like I was doing anything with the information that I was getting. I wasn't getting the information that I actually craved, which was specifically dog behavior. And the information that I was receiving, I wasn't actually able to practically use, and that was incredibly frustrating for me. So I left school, and I immediately started seeking out information on my own. I immediately started going, buying seminars, and buying workshops, and buying programs and buying books and I immediately started investing that way and I still do that and I think that one of the reasons the reception to those videos was so great and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for it was because I was able to show you guys that I had invested in those things. My 
ability to give you information was indicative of me being able to invest my money into that information initially. But the reason that I'm telling you guys that I'm a college dropout, the reason that that's relevant is because I want you to know that I really only learned about 15% of the stuff that I have in my brain regarding animal behavior. I really only learned about 15% of that stuff in school. The other 85-ish percent I sought out on my own. I educated myself. I reached out. I read a lot of bad books <laughs> um, just so that I could read a few really good ones. And you know, I took advice from people that were misinformed just so that I could find out that they were misinformed. I made those mistakes and I'm still making those mistakes and I'm still learning. I by no means claim to be the world-class expert. The reason that's important to you is because you should be demanding your trainers do the same. If you have a trainer who isn't actively getting information from themselves, isn't actively investing in their own knowledge, um, then they're probably not a qualified trainer. Um, and they're definitely not a trainer with integrity uh, because and a trainer with integrity knows that there's always a dog out there who you have not helped yet. There's always a case out there that is unique that you have not had the opportunity to work through. And that's why you continue educating yourself. You continue educating yourself for that one dog that is unique, that one dog that isn't like the rest of them, that one dog that needs creative thinking, that needs a special expertise, that needs something that other trainers haven't been able to give them. And the reason I continue to educate myself is because of that one dog, that, that one unique individual who is seeing the world completely differently than every other dog I've worked with. It's important that your trainer take that into consideration, that they know that the reason they continue to invest in their future isn't because it makes them a lack of a professional. Going, to, going and educating yourself and getting this information doesn't make you a bad trainer. It doesn't discount the knowledge you already have. It just escalates the information that you have. And it, it makes you a more, trustworthy, a more reliable source of information. And um, I didn't want my passion in those Zach George videos to be overshadowing my mission. Um, I'm not opposed to doing others, uh, dog trainer reacts to other videos. I'm not opposed to that, but I want you guys to know that I'm only going to do it if it's something that I'm actually passionate about if it's a conversation that I feel needs attention, if I feel like it's something that I can contribute more to, then I'll make the video. And um, that really means just that when you see those videos, those are gonna be especially passionate <laughs> because I wouldn't make a video about a topic that I didn't really, was only just doing for the clicks that I didn't actually you know, have an opinion on. So with all that said, we are going to return to our regularly scheduled program and um, I upload videos on Tuesdays and Fridays at 12.30 p.m. Los Angeles time. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, I really recommend that you do. My next video that I start uploading is going to be a four part series actually. So there's actually going to be four videos coming out over the next two weeks on dog behavior and body language and stress signals. I tried to cram it all into one video and it's just not gonna work. <laughs> so uh, we are doing a four part series and I'm very excited to give you that information. You deserve this information. Um, and so I hope to see you guys then.